Today is Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, a tradition in Mexico and other countries celebrating the lives of loved ones who've died. It's a tradition that seems to be growing across the valley. Here's Rick Diaz with today's Con Mi Gente. The tradition includes the building of altars for those that have gone before us. There is a lot of preparation and thought into each one. It's a celebration of life and you'll notice that all of the altars are very colorful and you get that celebratory feeling from all of the altars that are displayed. Jennifer Kenyo is Director of Education at the International Museum of Art and Science in McAllen. This year we're celebrating past Latino artists, anywhere from uh, Salvador Dali, Frida Kahlo, so there's a number of different altars. Dia de los Muertos is actually a two-day observance. On November 1st, it's believed the adults are allowed to come back to be with their loved ones for 24 hours. On November 2nd, it's the children's turn. Colorful marigolds welcome them back. Their favorite foods are offered on the altars, sugar skulls for the children, and for the adults, their favorite drinks. When they had their first exhibit, they tell me they only had four altars. Now it's grown to 12. People are excited to see uh, what fellow members of their communities have done. Basically, each altar was created by a school or a church or even a family or a community artist. And so each altar allows uh, different visitors to be able to learn a little bit more about that artist, the things that they liked, and to get a taste of the culture. Um, and a lot of people spend a lot of time looking at each altar and studying it. It's more of a Catholic tradition, but one that each year more and more people are embracing. There is nothing gruesome about it. In fact, it's considered a celebration of life. It's a wonderful way to celebrate the life of those that we loved or the, those that inspired us. It's also when many will be going to the cemeteries and visit the graves of their loved ones to celebrate their lives, show their love, and to honor them. The exhibit at the museum will be up through this Friday. For Channel 5 News, I'm Rick Diaz. Gone and